Hi everybody, this is Carla. Today, we have a very special treat for you, as we want to welcome you to the first of Derek E's true astrology stories. We felt that it might help if you knew the origin of the system that Derek E developed and we have been sharing with you. In our first story, which is entitled, The Unbeliever, my initial meeting with my astrology teacher, Derek E shares how he began his journey in astrology to include the initial meeting with his teacher and his thoughts and opinions about the whole astrological affair, which are similar to the astrological thoughts and opinions of many. Our story will be read by Henry, your AI Astrology Guide. And without further ado, let us begin our story. Henry. Thanks, Carla. First, I want you to understand to what level of an unbeliever I was in astrology before meeting my teacher. It is not that I was a stranger to astrology, as I was raised and cared for by five sisters and our mother who were all into it, but I wasn't having it, not one iota of it. Also, the time I began learning astrology was back decades before PCs, cell phones, and tablets were readily available to all but a very few, and I wasn't among the very few. Oh, do you mean back when books, magazines, and the news were all printed on paper? Yo, do you mean like when there was a lot of social without the media? What? Age alert. All right, guys, knock it off. I'm trying to tell the story. Anyway, my point is that I was no stranger to horoscopes when I met the man who was my future teacher. Still, dating back to times when I was old enough to understand the effects that horoscopes superstition, so-called black magic, and the like were having on people, I believed it all was a bunch of nonsense. This may have something to do with my having a practical view of life as a result of an earth rising. Now, let's leap forward. I did a short stint in the military, returned home from Europe, and decided to start my world travels. After living in and traveling to about nine countries, which covered a period of about eight years, I took my third trip to Africa. Once there, I sought out and found the person I was looking for, who we are going to call the Sagittarius, as it is his zodiac sign. He was also from the USA. I had heard about him from some Africans who were living in Germany at the same time I was living there. The Sagittarius had been living in Africa with his wife and daughter for some years before I arrived on the scene. Soon after settling in with him and his family, I met a Virgo who would introduce me to my teacher and become one of my fellow students of astrological studies. As I mentioned, I thought that astrology was nonsense. Thus, the Virgo had a challenging time convincing me to meet this person he held in such high esteem. Finally, I gave in and went to meet him reluctantly, suspiciously, and doubtful of his abilities. When we arrived and entered the astrologer's apartment, he was in the process of working with someone, either astrologically or medicinally, as he is also the most extraordinary practitioner of alternative medicine I've ever come across until this day. Anyway, when he saw me, he smiled, looked up over the heads of the Virgo and me, and asked us to step out of the room until he finished with the person he was attending to. He said that he would be with us shortly. When he looked up over our heads, I did the same as a reflex and saw there was a clock on the wall. I thought he was checking the time due to the lateness of our arrival, but that wasn't the case. He took the time to calculate the positions of some of the planets. No charts, no tools of measurement, just the time. When we went back in, after the initial introduction, hospitalities, questions about what had brought me to Africa, and other pleasantries, he told me what two of my signs were, as I was only aware of having a sun sign, which he didn't mention. I considered him just to be another hocus-pocus, waste of time, and fraud. Still, I told him that I was a Leo. Then he told me one of the signs he mentioned was my rising sign, and the other was my moon sign. I'd never heard of these things before. I didn't say anything, but I was probably thinking something like, okay, the car is moving, but there's definitely nobody behind the steering wheel. And this was a time long before self-driving cars, right? Yes, Don, it was. And as far as I was concerned, it was time to get the H-E double hockey sticks out of the house of this Looney Tune. So, by the time that the Virgo and I left, I still wasn't buying whatever my future fellow student and future teacher were selling. Sariel Haji, that's my teacher's name. To conclude, the night I met my future teacher, I was a firm unbeliever in astrology, and all his mumbo jumbo about time and planets, and zodiac signs actually did, was set my beliefs in stone, on an international level. Thus, I left his house an unbeliever in astrology. 
just as I had arrived at his house. But that was all about to change in the near future. This is Carla again. If you have enjoyed listening to the first of Derek E's true astrology stories, in his next story he will be sharing the story of receiving his first astrological reading from his teacher. And you don't want to miss it. With that, from me. And from Don Tuta One. And Henry, your AI astrology guide. Thanks for listening. Signing off.